it was time to appreciate God for his mercies and commit Ondo State and his people unto him following numerous challenges of year 2023, especially the death of former Governor Oluwaruti Miyakiore Dolu. This special church service and candlelight procession was organized by the Commissioner for Women Affairs and Social Development, Mrs. Adebumi Oshadaun, and women groups in the state in honor of the late governor. Chaplain of the Government House Chapel of Grace, Reverend Babalola Benjamin, eulogized the late governor and urged support and prayers for Governor Aida Tiwa and family of the deceased. We continue to pray for you, sir. The church continues to pray for you, sir. Oh, Lord, say, let us continue to pray for our government. And we continue to pray and remember the family of Baba Kukiri. Let us remember Mama Betsy Aya Wakiri. Remember the children. Governor Aida Tiwa, who highlighted the challenges of year 2023, especially the political situation and the demise of his former boss, charged the congregation to be positive and hopeful of year 2024. Believe the purpose life, and that should be solid for all of us. It touched with our lives, and uh, all our purposes we can see the footprint of all I have been able to do for all of us. About this time last year, 2022, the last day of the year, you know, we all were looking forward to a new year with new hope, new aspiration, new things that we pray for God to do for us. I don't know if we were able to achieve all. Were you able to achieve all? But you achieved some. Yes. Eh? So dream of new things. Because the expectation of your actions shall not be cut short. So expect something new. Aida Tiwa also reaffirmed his commitment to ensuring that the legacies of Lich Akere Dulu are sustained. Those lovely new foundations that are going to leave are will. He called for more prayers for the Akili Dulu family and the state. In an interview, the Commissioner for Women Affairs and Social Development, Mrs. Adebumi Oshadaun, says the challenges of year 2023 were enormous and needed God's intervention. We just believe instead of roaming about the streets, just in the spirit of money, let us come here, commit on those states into prayers, praying for 2024 as 2024 we roll in tonight. Wahab Bangkoli, OSRC News.